Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The Danar reusable clutch system has two metal clutches a maxillary clutch with a concave bearing surface and a mandibular clutch with a bearing stud. The tooth portion of the clutch is shaped to receive impression compound. The compound is used to obtain indentations of the teeth. Using this system, a set of clutches can be individualized and made ready for the assembly of the Pantronic in two to three minutes. The clutches must be held in relationship to each other. Bar positioners are provided that fit on the anterior bars and are used to hold the system together. Impression compound is provided to add to the clutches. The first step in the procedure is to attach the appropriate anterior bar to the clutches. The maxillary clutch is attached bearing surface down to the anterior scriber bar with the screw. The mandibular clutch bearing screw up is attached to the anterior recorder bar. The next step is to position the two clutches together using the bar positioners. The bar positioners are placed over the ends of the two anterior bars. There is a bar positioner for each end. These are loosely tightened to allow slight movement at first while the clutches are related to each other. The clutches should be parallel to each other. The bearing stud is positioned in the concave area. Be sure the stud is a few millimeters from the end of the maxillary clutch. Be sure that the anterior styli contact the proper area of the recording table. Once the clutches are related properly, the bar positioner screws are tightened further. The clutches are now held in position while the softened compound is added. The compound can be softened in a rubber bowl. Place a piece of paper towel in the bowl to keep the compound from sticking to the bowl. Place the compound in the bowl and add hot water. If there is some question of how the teeth will contact the clutches in the different jaw classifications, they can be tried in the mouth and readjusted. The teeth must contact the flat metal area. When the compound has softened, a portion, about a third of the compound, is rolled up and placed in the clutch. The clutch itself can be warmed. In placing the compound, make a uniform layer. Spread the compound over the clutch surface with about three to four millimeters of thickness. Remove any excess compound. The clutches can be warmed again to keep the compound soft. 
Another one-third roll is added to the opposite clutch area. The area where there is usually too much compound is in the anterior teeth areas. Thin this area. Be sure that there is no compound between the clutches. Keep the compound warmed and soft until the assembly is ready to place in the mouth. The clutch system is positioned in the mouth. The maxillary clutch is seated against the teeth, and the patient is instructed to close with the jaw back into the soft compound until the teeth touch the metal. With the compound still soft, align the anterior bars to the face. The bars are parallel to the horizontal and at right angles to the vertical planes. Have the patient open and close several times to work out any tooth undercuts in the compound. There should be no undercuts once the compound has hardened. Remove the assembly from the mouth. Examine the compound completely for indentations of the teeth. These indentations are the right depth. The compound is chilled in cold water. Any excess compound is trimmed away from the clutches. Be sure to remove any compound that is between the clutches. This could interfere with job movements. The only contact is through the bearing screw. The chilled and trimmed clutch assembly could be tried in the mouth to be sure they will seat without any undercuts. For the pantronic procedure, it is advisable to cement the clutches in the mouth with zinc oxide and eugenol to eliminate any possible movement. A small portion of zinc oxide and eugenol is placed in the molars and incisor area. Place the clutch assembly back in the mouth and allow the zinc oxide and eugenol to harden with the bar positioner still in place. Once the zinc oxide and eugenol has set, the bar positioners can be removed. The clutches are now free and the patient can practice the jaw movements. The clutches are observed to be sure there is no movement at the teeth. Practice the jaw movements with the patient until they are familiar with the clutches. Ask the patient to rub the clutches together and the patient will not open the jaw. The clutches and the anterior bars are now ready to receive the assembly of the pantronic. Once the recording procedures are completed and the pantronic is removed, the cemented clutches can be loosened from the teeth. The clutches can be removed from the anterior bars. The compound can be softened and pried from the metal clutch. The clutch can be scrubbed clean and sterilized in cold sterilization. 
You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.